Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you this pulse motor that has a heavy rotor for large inertia and also has a low friction suspension. It has two coils of high resistance. They are made with many turns of very fine wire. They are in series, so the resistance is very high and the current consumption is very low. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. The rotor is a part that I got from an old BCR of the 80s and it was part of the mechanism of tape transport. Let's see, it has a weight of 171 grams including the neodymium magnets. The rotor is suspended from these magnets, neodymium magnets and the steel ball. Since the steel ball is round and the tip of the axis of the rotor is also rounded, the contact area is very small and the friction is minimal. Also the fact that both surfaces are highly polished also contributes to reduce the friction. Therefore the large mass of the rotor together with the low friction makes it possible that with a small push the rotor continues to rotate for a long time. Both coils are in series and there is a magnetic switch here. So when the rotor is in this position, the magnetic switch closes the circuit and energizes the coils and the coils attract the magnets and give a kick to the rotor. In this position, when the magnet away from the red switch, the circuit is now open but the inertia of the rotor makes it to continue to rotate until again the magnetic switch closes the circuit. So every half revolution, the rotor receives a kick from the two coils. Each coil has around 5,000 turns of magnet wire size 42. Let's now see it working. I'm going to apply 8 volts. Let's now see the current that the motor draws. When the circuit is closed, you can see that it is drawing 
close to 2.5 milliamps but it is only in this region when a magnet is close to the magnetic switch then the current drops to zero so only in a part of the revolution the motor draws current The motor can work with only one volt and at this voltage it draws only 30 milliamps. Of course it moves very slowly. The average current consumption at 1 volt is only 17 microamps. Let's see why. The motor only draws current when the magnet is close to the magnetic switch, approximately 10 degrees. Since we have two magnets, we have the motor on 20 degrees of each revolution. Since one revolution is 360 degrees, we have a fraction of the time of 0 0.056 when the motor is drawing current. So the average current is this fraction times the current consumption when the motor is on. And this gives 0 0.017 milliamps or 17 microamps. Let's make the rotor runs faster by applying 15 volts and more. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for visiting my channel and see you in the next video.